Welcome back to the shop today. We're gonna be working on our truck. Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop today. Today we are gonna be working on our 2019 L5P. Uh, we are gonna be working on these mirrors here. We're gonna be swapping out the uh, signals and we're gonna be doing some paint match caps from uh, Boost Auto Parts. So uh, let's get into the, some of the parts we got on the workbench and let's get right after it. Okay, so what we have on the workbench here is some parts we got from our friends over at Boost Auto Parts. Um, of course, they always send you some, some cool merch. Um, I did get a couple little harnesses. Um, I'm not sure if my current truck has these. They probably do, but they were only like a few bucks a piece, so I went ahead and picked them up. Um, I did get new left and right hand glass. Um, these got the integrated turn signal in there. Uh, that's what my truck currently has, but the last time I popped these off, I actually broke one, um, and it was kind of a pain. I had to order another one, so I just went ahead and ordered them just in case. Uh, so I've got a left and right hand of each of those. I do have the painted the uh the paint ready caps and we're going to be trying to paint these ourselves here to to color match them and make everything look good on the truck i do have uh that for left and right hand sides and then the last thing is the the led markers and the lights i went with uh i went with the amber uh and this is the smoked version amber and i did the strip the ones i have currently are the dotted style but i like the way that the strips look so this is what those look like of course it's got a protective film on there but we'll uh yeah see they mark up left hand right hand for you so we'll uh we'll put those on the existing boost auto parts mirrors as well and hopefully we can uh make this truck look a little bit different so first I would like to say that I'm not a painter and second I would like to say that I'm not a painter. Um, I did get some of this Duplicolor. Uh, this is uh, GM Black. So it looks like it'll match the truck pretty good. We'll do a little a test hit probably on the back side of one of these. Um, so I am gonna attempt to rattle can this stuff myself. Uh, I did get a primer. We'll uh, kind of scuff these up a little bit. We'll get some primer on there. And then I also did get a uh, a clear coat um, look this up it looks like it's gonna be pretty good I don't know we'll see we're just trying to do it on the cheap so um, let's get right into it so these are super super slick um, I'm afraid the primer might not stick to these very well so I'm just gonna kind of lightly uh, lightly rough them up with some sandpaper just enough to, to get some sort of surface on there that the primer can adhere to uh, so I'll do this, kind of get it scuffed up just a hair, and then uh, we'll get some primer on there. Yeah, actually the, uh, the sandpaper I have was a little bit too coarse, so I'm actually just going to use a steel wool pad. Um, it kind of takes the, the sheen right off of it, makes it a little bit, uh, a little bit more aggressive. It's still nice and smooth, um, but you can see, probably be able to see the difference here. Uh, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but this one's nice and glossy. I'm afraid that's not going to stick, and this is a little bit more uh, of a matte finish now. So I'll kind of hit all of these with that steel wool pad. We'll clean them off. Uh, we'll get all the debris off with a little bit of air, and they should be ready for primer. Take some acetone here and just kind of wipe all these off. The primer. So this is kind of the texture we're looking like after the first coat of primer. I did uh, one coat on everything here and I'm gonna sand these and give them another coat. You've got two coats of primer on everything. Let 
let that dry. A little orange peely. Not really that bad though. It actually looks pretty good for rattle cans. So we'll do a couple coats of that. Two coats of primer, two coats of paint, and then we'll put on some of this Duplicolor 1K Clear. Let's see if it does any good. It's pretty glossy. I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick it up, but. This is after everything has two coats of clear. So there's two coats of primer, two coats of clear. It's not perfect, but for a rattle can, definitely looks pretty good. Four. This is with just the amber signal. If you're not interested in painting your caps, this is kind of what you would look like there. So really, I think all you're gonna need is uh, probably just a screwdriver. You can probably do this entire job with just a screwdriver. So if there's anything else needed, I'll be sure to let you know. I would also like to say that today's video is sponsored by me because I bought all this shit myself. Okay, so we're gonna take this glass off. Um, I have taken these off before and I ended up breaking them. Uh, so I do have new glass over there on the table. So if anything happens, we can, we can replace that. Actually, doesn't look like we broke anything. Um, you have some connections here. This is for your actual signal. I'm gonna disconnect that. And then these are for your Defrost, you'll want to remove both of those. And then your upper glass is off. I'm going to take the uh, lower portion off. And then just pops right off. So on this particular mirror, there's just four screws. Um, they're Phillips heads. You have all four of those screws out this cover here should come loose you do have your uh if you have a reverse light here you're going to have a connection back there you're going to want to take off hopefully you guys can see that just disconnect that and all of your wiring is undone okay once you have your uh cover off there's actually some little tabs in here mine actually don't look like they're locked in but, uh, I have to disconnect this wire. It's your ambient, uh, your ambient temperature sensor. So I have to come off. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see it here, but there's uh, these little plastic pieces that you're gonna need to like pry down on and allow the mirror to slip out of that. Get our signal out. Let's have a Phillips there and a Phillips here. Okay, and your signal's out. So we're gonna be taking this uh, Boost Auto Parts strip and putting it back in its place. I'm gonna leave the protective uh, film on there. Yep, that's it. I'm gonna put my two screws back in that holds the signal in. Just enough to be snug. Okay, so this little harness comes from Boost Auto Parts. Here's the part number. And this actually plugs into the new uh, Boost Auto Parts light. 
Okay, that plugs in there. And then the black one actually plugs into the one that plugged into the factory light. Okay, so that's all hooked up. Now our light should be functioning. Let's check it. Okay, so we validated that our light works. So now our light works, let's start getting it back together. It's a little bit of a difference for you guys from the painted versions versus the OE versions. So as every project of mine, something always uh, goes unexpected that I didn't think of. This is an ambient temperature sensor. It goes in the bottom of that mirror. I did not know that. So this one doesn't have one. Um, so I'm gonna measure it out. I'm gonna drill a half inch hole in this. I wish I would have thought about it because I would have did it before I painted them, but it is what it is. And hopefully we can get this installed. Half inch hole. Now we're gonna take our, uh, this is our new glass from Boost Auto Parts. I'm gonna hook up your defrost wires. And your turn signal wire. And all of these go behind these slots here. Right, everybody that wraps up our paint ready uh tow mirror caps from boost auto parts quick diy project looks pretty good for doing it yourself at home as long with the uh the amber led marker lights i think those things look awesome in the strip um let me know what you think so as always i appreciate everybody watching thank you until next time take care welcome back to the shop today everybody uh, for watching as always thank you until next time thank you and take care and thank you and thank you and thank you welcome back to the shop today <laughs> today we're gonna be working on our truck stick around should be fun <laughs> boost auto parts painted uh pieces with the boost with the uh.
off. Up our install of the Boost Auto Parts uh, paintable 